Hey YouTube, I'm James Hodges and in today's video we're going to show you how to do this effect in your streams. So I did a video recently where I showed you how to set up your own green screen for your streams using Streamlabs or OBS and in that video I showed you a few cool overlay ideas that you could do. One of those effects I did you guys seem to really like and feel I didn't give you enough information to do it yourself. Well you are right, I didn't. But that's all about to change but before I show you how it is done you need to have done the following. Get yourself a green screen, get yourself a webcam, set these things up in Streamlabs or OBS. I, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm basically just telling you to go watch my previous video where I show you how to set all of these up. Link to that video will be up here or, or in the description down below. Oh, and uh, last thing on this list, you also need to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe button. Right, now you've done all that, let's show you the next steps. For that, I'm gonna jump into Streamlabs, but as always, you can do the exact same thing in OBS. The steps will be the exact same. And here we are inside of Streamlabs. So what I've done here is I've set up a really, really simple scene for us. All that I have in is this fake background. This is fake, this is actually a green screen. So let me show you what we need to do from here. I'm gonna pull in the elements that of the portal by hitting this plus button here. Ah, yeah, you'll also need the portal file, so let's add that to the list. If you wanna download these files, then head over to my Discord, then go to free stuff, and the files will be there for you to download. Back we go. So now that you have the files, we can go over to media source. Add a new source, give it a name of portal. Browse, we wanna pull in our portal file. One important thing to do here is to make sure that the video is looping. Otherwise it will play the quick four second clip and then that will finish. So instantly when you bring in this file, you'll notice an issue. The issue is that it is against a black background and you can't see yourself behind it. So we need to do the exact same thing we're doing for the green screen. However, we need to do it for the portal instead of our webcam. To do that, we're gonna right click our portal, go to filters, add, we're gonna go to chroma key. I'm gonna keep that as chroma key. So you come to this screen and it should look very familiar to you. The only different thing we're gonna be doing here is going to the key color type. Currently it has green selective, we're gonna select the drop down and go down to custom. It now gives us an option to select the color we want to key out. So I'm gonna change this from green to black. We need to play around with these settings just like we did with the green screen to get the portal. One thing I'm gonna do really, really quickly, I'm gonna bring down this similarity right the way down until we can start seeing the portal again. A quick tip while going through these settings, I like to move this window over to the side so I can see what I'm actually doing and what it will look like as the finished product. What we now need to do is position this portal on the screen where we would like it. To do that, we can obviously just drag it around on the screen. We can also right click, go to transform. We can rotate it 90 degrees, move it back in. Obviously keeping the portal oval shaped like this isn't going to work. So what we need to do is we need to squash it. To do that, we need to select the layer, hold shift, and drag it down to it the size we like. I think that's okay. Now I've got my portal in a position I would like it. We're obviously having this issue where this part of the portal is going over us. Let me show you how to fix that. What we need to do is we need to duplicate our portal layer. To do that, I'm gonna just control C and control V. That will then create a second portal layer. We then need to move our webcam in between these two layers. Now you see this hasn't quite fixed our issue yet. What we then need to do is select the top layer portal. We need to then hold Alt and then drag the image down. This is going to crop it from the top. As you can see, that is now instantly fixed our issue. We now look like we are sitting inside the portal. That's it, simple when you know how. If you guys have any questions about this effect or wanna learn how to do other effects, then let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped at all, then make sure you let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. And YouTube, I'll see you next time.